Tobacco smoking has been around for hundreds of years. As early as the 1700s, the Virginia Company was mass-producing tobacco. Even back then, many people thought tobacco smoking wasn't healthy, but they continued to smoke because of the addictive nature of nicotine. What about today? The message now is vaping is a healthier way to get nicotine than smoking. But vaping hasn't been around that long. There has not been enough time to learn about the long-term health risks of vaping. What we do know is that vaping affects the lungs because vapes have toxic chemicals and metals in them, like formaldehyde, acrolein, lead, and chromium. Vapes also give nicotine to the user. Nicotine causes heart rate and blood pressure to go up. And one other big thing, nicotine causes changes in the brain. One change is that nicotine makes the brain release feel-good chemicals like dopamine. The brain gets used to this, which means that after a while, the user needs nicotine just to feel normal. And when people try to quit, it's hard to stay quit. What keeps this going are vapes like Juul and Puff Bar. These products give high levels of nicotine by using nicotine salts. Salts allow for higher concentrations to be inhaled more easily and absorbed faster than older vape devices. Why is this a problem? For teens, too much nicotine can really mess with brain development. The teen brain still needs time to develop before it can run like an adult brain. The brain also needs a strong link between thinking and processing to work at a high level. Nicotine attacks this process and can cause lasting problems like not being able to control impulses and anxiety and can lead to issues with learning and attention. Because addiction is a form of learning, youth can get addicted more